Hello. 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 Hi. Welcome to the Thursday stream. My wonderful, wonderful many viewers. All right, so let's get a few things out of the way. What's today's stream gonna be like? Probably like every other stream, except slightly different. So the first half is gonna be me flying around in Microsoft Flight Simulator. The second half, uh, there'll be a short break and I'm gonna whip my piano in here. Being that it's a Thursday stream, we're gonna be doing about 45 minutes of Flight Simulator content and about 45 minutes of me you know, playing away on the piano. And that's going to be the stream for today. Tomorrow we'll have a little longer stream and we'll go a little bit more in depth. Now, let's discuss specifically what happened yesterday and what's going to happen today. What happened yesterday was I said, let's go to the Cliffs of Mower and see the new update. But uh, when I went to the Cliffs of Mower, I said, this doesn't look like the new update. It looks pretty crappy. I think I've seen this, you know, the ver there was a lot of uh, the, the vertical cliffs just didn't look good. Uh, and then I realized, I said, well, I'll check it out after the stream. And I did check it out after the stream. I'd never in, even in, tr bothered to try to install the new world update before I said, well, let's go explore the new update. So I installed it yesterday uh, after the stream. And then I went and checked that, in fact, the Cliffs of Mohor look completely different. Now, here's the great thing. You can look at yesterday's stream and as a comparison with today's stream, because we're going to go back and do the same thing. And you can say, well, what does a world update mean? What does it mean when they've updated a particular area? Uh, well, we're going to go see today. So the Cliffs of Mower are right here. You can kind of see where this thing is. We're going to take off from this. All right, cheer. Now, the other thing that's new today, by the way, is a new famous flyer. Uh, these are planes that Microsoft and produces with, in this case, Inabuilds usually. It's called the Westland Scout. It's a new helicopter. It's a ten dollar item. You know, you get this the version with the skids, and you get a version with the, with the uh, uh, with these these landing gear. Um, and it's an old uh, late fifties, I believe, era helicopter that was used in the military as a recon. I, I I'm not sure as a scouting vehicle, but it's always cool. And I I don't fly the helicopters very often. Um. Let's change it a little bit again, it's just so it's comparable to what we did yesterday, which was around, I think, a little before 6 p.m. We have similar lighting conditions, I hopefully. Uh, uh, so now, yesterday when I flew around, I did not fly in a helicopter, but we got a new thing to fly around in. Hi there, ground to air. How you doing? I'm just getting started here. We're going to do, you know, we're going to explore, uh, I mean, you know, going to take the next week to explore the uh, world content 17 XVII which focuses mainly on uh, England, Ireland, Scotland, the United Kingdom, otherwise known as the United Kingdom. Quite a bit of it, too. Um, now, yesterday I went to the I, to the Cliffs of Moher, and I'm like, well, let's check it out. It's going to be cool. And I forgot to install the update first. So today I have installed the update. So if you want to know what the difference is. Uh, however, today I'm going in the new helicopter. Let's just take a quick look at it. It's got a really cool uh, exterior. It's got a this visible engine, with like moving parts and stuff like that. You see the, the crankshaft turning, or the, the shaft turning towards the um, the rear, and that kind of the shaft is that it, you can kind of see the engine. It's cool, um, and you can open the doors. It's got a lot of stuff to it. But I'm not doing the starter procedure. Now, normally I like to start in a cold plane, but today because I want to actually see the world a little bit, um, we're gonna fly around in a. Uh, So we're gonna get off the ground nice and easy. Got some wind to deal with here. What we wanna do is head east. So we're gonna make this turn here. Head out over this water. And we're gonna head over the cliffs. Which are this way, not far away. Hello. There they are right ahead. Establish some forward speed here. Some little stabilization there. Definitely have to give this a lot of rudder, uh, or a lot of um, what you call it, the ta tail rotor, to get it to kind of go straight. 
But um, already you can tell from this distance that the Cliffs of Mower look a lot different than they did yesterday. They were they just didn't look good, but they look amazing. I how I how do I know? Because I went there, check it out yesterday. All right, so we're gonna do a little like that to twenty there. Give us some that. We don't want to necessarily get too high up here. Take a look around. Got a lot of visibility. Now, there's a bunch of little things I kind of want to try here that I hadn't tried before. So that turns on that. And that's kind of cool. And there's something called a auto stabilization, which most helicopters don't have. So theoretically, auto stabilization. Oh, I didn't. That wasn't good. Yeah, I'm gonna push this down. Yeah, it's kind of wonky. Okay, it's off now, though. I gotta, I gotta figure that out. All right, meanwhile, Pilot Dream on production type. We're gonna check out these cliffs here. This was one of the things, again, that was updated yesterday. I flew over it and it looked terrible. And I'm like, that's not the update, and it wasn't. But now it looks amazing today. And we should have, we have some nice, uh, nice, um, uh, you know, uh, shadows at this time of day. And you'll see, it just looks so different. Now the top part where, where the, where the you know kind of where the terrain is where the grass is looks about the, almost the same although it's definitely better uh, but the where the cliffs were yesterday again you can look at my vod from yesterday on youtube and or um uh, uh and or twitch i have them both place and you can see the equivalent of me kind of rolling up on these cliffs and going wow these look terrible because they did and there's also this whole section over there which has this kind of really interesting um, we won't check it out though, but we'll check out the cliffs area. We'll probably try to land somewhere on the top of the cliffs. I do want to get, this is a brand new helicopter to me. I do want to get some facility with it. And that usually means, you know, stick time. So things like, yeah, this, it just didn't look anything like this. It was, uh, and again, you can you can verify this yourself by looking at my VOD from yesterday at a very similar timestamp. Uh, again, we weren't in the same kind of plane, but I'm trying to effectively go kind of the same, um, the same route, which was pretty close and lower than the top of the cliffs. You can see things like, um, like at the base of the cliffs, it's a little funny looking, uh, and at, at the, but they, these little things there, like the little um, these little promontories that stick out here, weren't even visible, I don't think. But the bottom line is anytime there's vertical, um, like this, there's verti very vertical cliffs like that, it, 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 it has to be manual, they have to manually figure out how to map a, uh, you know, map uh, a bitmap onto that to make it look realistic, which they did not do until yesterday. So this update does really look great. So there's a little castle up there. And I thought maybe we can kind of, it's like ruins, I think, or like a, maybe a lighthouse. Some kind of, not a castle, but just like a little building. I think there's another one too. Sometimes it's hard to fly a helicopter from the outside because you kind of lose orientation. It would be a nice, interesting place to land. We can kind of come around. We're a helicopter. We can land wherever we want. Oop. It definitely needs a lot of work on the with the ro with the rotor just to get it to stay like that. Yeah, I think it's a little easier to, to maneuver a helicopter from the inside. 
we can land like over there. I'm not very good with a helicopter, by the way, as you can probably tell. I mean, it's not easy, but I'm not very good. I've seen other people doing this and they have no problems, like landing on a, on a potion stamp. And I'm always like, I can't do it very well. Let's see, when I want to land in this little empty area over here. sure what it's supposed to represent with these like tents like a camping area I think but I just want to land here 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 just to kind of say yeah I can land here It's at an angle. Oh. Yeah, landing. Land. Let's try this again. Let's like let's land in the field. The problem is, is I have a land. I have wheels, so if I don't land on a flat spot, uh, it'll start sliding down the hill. And yeah, this is kind of a hill here. Let's see if we land somewhere more like in a flat area. I love these shadows, though. It's really tense, and the sound effects are great. Hold on. <gasps> Boy, helicopters are hard to fly. <laughs> Just every little thing you do, it takes a long time to get used to it. And, and each one is a little different, too. Is that too fast? Okay, now if I put the engine down, do I roll? Okay, I'm a little downhill and I got these wheels. Do I have a parking brake? No, there's no parking brake. I mean, since you're on wheels, you have to land somewhere flat or you'll just roll. If I can turn, like that. So I don't roll anymore. Okay. All right. All right, we're going to fly around some more, though. I'm just practicing takeoff and landings. Oh, and i got to remember. Oh. Oh. That's not good. That's not good. I don't know what I'm doing, especially from the outside. It can be very, very, very hard to, uh, to control. Let's go back to the cliffs, though. The cliffs are up here. I'm getting used to it. Um, also, I don't have the ideal um, uh, joystick setup for helicopters, but that's fine. It's just like a parking lot for like a park where you go and you go over, cross over here and go for a walk and then check out this old uh, ruins or whatever it is. And then see the amazing view over the cliffs. Definitely looks like a wall, you know, an area, some kind of historical something there. All right. So let's put some trim back there. More like 24. The important thing is learning how to, to do the, the trim correctly on a helicopter so that it will move forward without you having to hold the stick forward. Once you get some speed, it definitely makes it easier to fly in a specific direction. Because, you know, that's the thing about a helicopter. It'll go any direction. I mean, even not even the one you're not pointing in when, when you're at zero, when you're low. So I got to learn a lot about these instruments. Apparently, there's a lot of interesting stuff in here, and I have not, like, read the manual or anything like that. I just got it yesterday. Um, and this is the first time I'm trying this particular variant. It's doing a little a bit of a... Hold on for a second. Oh, that, what's telling me is to have a little bad code. It'll come back. Yeah, I need a faster computer. 
but it does that for everybody. And what's here? Windshield wipers. Cool. Like I'm gonna fly a helicopter in the rain. There's, I think, another little lighthouse up here. But you can see, yeah, the cliffs look great. The detailing, uh, fantastic. So thank you for, um, thanks to Microsoft Flight Simulator for fixing the cliffs. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this a little more stable here. A little more power. We're not really using all the power of this helicopter seems to be quite more than powerful enough. I would have figured an older helicopter would have more, um, a little more issues with power, but uh, we're fine. So yeah, I don't know what this is exactly. It's like another old ruin of some kind there. And that's, uh, it was there, but it's been updated and it looks a lot better, I think, than so we saw it yesterday. Now, most of these kind of ground level areas look about the same. But apparently there was a bunch of old civilizations living around here. And they left behind a lot of like rocks, stone ruins kind of things all over the place, this area. So there's a discovery flight which you can fly over. Which, in which it actually has all these different ruins named, that are named, and there's like a hundred of them. But you have to do the discovery flight to see those. I'm leaving this fairly loud, by the way, because I really like the sound, the helicopter sounds. As you go around and get that real chop chop sound, it's, perf it's a really good quality helicopter sound. I think it's unique to this helicopter. And helicopters are loud. That is a true thing. Hold on one second here. So when you're inside a helicopter, you always have head, have earphones on, and you need a, you know with the head of a, that headset that has a microphone to speak to people, because you're not going to be screaming your head off trying to talk to somebody. You have these beautiful communities that are like probably you know, thousand year old originally, or eight hundred year old communities. Some of these, I think. And then right out here in the middle of this, there's like these like cheap looking housing here, like box housing. I noticed this the other day I was flying over it, or yesterday, excuse me. And it's still there. Yeah, those look like kind of mobile homes. Maybe I'm not sure they are, but. All right, let's fly out over this bay here. I'm, in, I'm digging the helicopter. As again, I don't really love flying the helicopters, as you can tell, for two reasons. One is I'm not that good at it. And secondly, it's not a plane, and I like flying the planes. But when they come out with a new helicopter, I gotta give it a try, at least. But yeah, this whole area has been improved. And not a little bit. So again, the, way, the only way to, the best way to comparison um, between this, uh, between the pre-world update, would just be to look at my yesterday's stream. Because yesterday I went to the same place, looked at the cliffs and said, boy, those look terrible. Because they did. I thought I had installed the new update, but instead I was, it was the day before. Or look. So it's a good way of contrasting what they do. And, you know, basically it's improvement of terrain. It's, it's mapping of new images. And basically what happens with cliffs and vertical sides is that they take images from the air, um, very high resolution camera images, but unless they specifically go to a, those cliff sides and take pictures of the sides of the cliff, which is a totally different operation than they normally would do, they don't have any, any data for what the size of the cliffs look like, which is why yesterday you saw them just look like dark, dark streaks that would dynamically change as soon as you got close to them. Or here, you can kind of see the, there's some popping here. This is where the cliffs are kind of have not been improved, like they were over back by the mower, by mower. Because you can kind of tell when they pop in like that, and ah, they look okay here actually. But you can see, the, yeah, there's some there. They can they can fix that. None of that happened at those at that main area. 
because because of the world update. But you know, they can't do the entire world at that level. They have to pick certain spots. So I don't think that's as realistic yet. You can kind of see it changing and stuff like that. That indicates it's it's um that's effectively the AI determined to look for that spot. But yeah, flying in a helicopter, wow, it's got a vibe to it. I do I don't necessarily hate it. It's just not my favorite thing. And in fact, we're gonna land here, I'm gonna switch to a plane. It's just I don't get the same relaxation um, from flying in a helicopter as I do in a plane. And I know there's people who love it, and I'm glad that Microsoft Flight Simulator added it, because the original Flight Simulator didn't have any helicopters. Um, and they added them like two years ago, or a little more maybe, maybe three. Um, and it, it, it's a good addition to the game, but they are a little, a little, it's definitely a little strange, since they weren't, the game wasn't really designed with helicopters in mind. So we're gonna head out over here to this airfield and just land there, and then I'm gonna switch to a different plane. Also, we're gonna switch to a different airport. Because as I mentioned, there's five airports that the world update has, uh, has uh, it, it encompasses this new world update, in addition to many areas. Um, but the one we took off from is not one of them. It's like Cardiff, uh, there's, a, there's a, an airport northeast, about 60 miles northeast of London, and, um, that they worked on, which I recently flew out of. Uh, and then we have Edinburgh, Liskanner, Glasgow, Cardiff, Gibraltar. Oh, Gibraltar looks really good. I was seeing, I watched AV Angel fly over Gibraltar, and it, that's a really fun, interesting place to fly over. But look at this, we just got all these little fields. And we're gonna kind of go to this airfield here. Just we're land somewhere on the grounds. Here's the airfield. It's not getting too much altitude here. Spanish Point Airfield. I think we, I, I did what I wanted to accomplish, which was take a look at the new cliffs of Moor and how much better they look. Again, we have these wheels on the bottom, which means if you're on any kind of uneven ground, you'll tend to roll. And the way these wheels work, they're like casters, so they'll, you'll roll any old direction, you know what I mean? Um, which is fine, but it's unusual. Okay, let's see if we can do some fun stuff here. We can open the door. Give it a second to think about opening the door here. It's thinking about opening a door. Open the other door. I'm gonna check out, see if we can figure out how, okay, geez. That's the other thing about helicopters, which is they are very heavyweight. Okay, so there's that, there's, okay, let's try turning off the uh, engine. Okay, fuel closed. Um, fuel, ignition. Put the rotor brake on. And that should slow us down pretty effectively. Take a look at us from the outside there. That's only thing. I, I haven't really figured out much. There's a way to open the door in the back. Cabin doors in the back open as well. That's kind of nice. So you got four doors, they all open. That's pretty cool. Okay, rotor brake is bringing us to a close. It's a beautiful, it is a beautiful machine. I've, I didn't realize, you'll never see one that has that exposed motor. Apparently there's a canvas you can put over it. 
but the detailing is fantastic. And I think that, yeah, it's, it's a heavy, it's a heavy weight machine. Um, I just want to check one thing here. Get this EFB here, which is kind of a secret feature. What does it let you do though? Okay. You got a Metar search, you got a home ground. Okay. So you can open the doors, engine covers. Oh, let's set the chalks and all the tags and see how that looks too. And then there's a map. Okay. So, um, oh, I added some emergency equipment to the side there. And I added a cover for the engine, a protective cover for the engine. Okay, kind of cool. What else, what else is, is that? Hold on. Engine covers, full cover, chalks, remove tags. Okay, yeah, no, those we don't want, the floats. Okay, and then we can close the rear doors, right? Okay. Oh, it takes the doors off. Interesting. Hi, science. So I got a little little late start here. And I got this new helicopter. Okay, so you can remove the doors entirely if you don't want doors. And who, who wants doors? I'm just checking out the new features of this... Um, uh, Let's add the doors back of this helicopter I just got. And we flew around the cliffs of Moher, and this time we have the correct update. It looks really nice. I just don't like flying helicopters that much. Let me do a quick uh, screenshot. Okay, I got to remove the covers. Hold on. The tarp, that wasn't it. Okay, yeah, I want to see the engine there. And I got to see my Kench 999. or niner, niner. Okay. Pretty, a pretty looking. Yeah, I really got the update this time. We're going to try uh, an airport. Hold on a second. But, I, uh, and, and not in a helicopter. Um, okay, good. So, um, what I'm going to do is ooh, main menu. For the next, we'll just do a next little segment. We've got like 15 minutes. So, uh, this time, we're going to check out one of the new airports. But I think let's do Gibraltar. Well, actually, that's not one of the airport choices. Let's just do one of the new airports. So, uh, first of all, not in the Wasp. We'll pick a regular plane. Um, nothing necessarily terribly fancy. Oh, they just updated the short. So, we'll, we'll take the pink school bus, which is, you know... The, it, I don't know what the update was about. But, because they never say. It just says, oh, you, you have an update. And it was the short, it was the sky van. Okay, so we have EGLF. Maybe we should just do them in order. This is Farnborough, which is interesting because I don't know if we've taken off from here before. Um, and we'll start warmed up. Yeah, I didn't even try to update it last time. You know, I, I, I was like, why do I see the new, new, the new terrain? And I went back and looked at my thing and I never even bothered to download and install the update before I'm like, let's go explore the update. So today, you know, we are actually exploring the new update, Chubb and Tank. So it's quite a bit of stuff, but they've specifically called out five um, airports as being updated. And usually it means the airport and the area around the airport. Um, and we're just going to take them in order. This is Farnsborough, which I think has really been on YouTube a lot because they have a massive um, air show there. In fact... England seems like they're really into their air shows. There's like air show season, which is July. Yeah, it was. A, I was like, oh, it seems like a bug that I'm not seeing the new update. It wasn't a bug. It was just me not spacing out entirely on having the update installed. But anyway, I flew. I flew the same route, so you could see how much better the Cliffs of Mower look. And it's kind of cool that you can look at yesterday's stream and today's stream and see the difference between. Um, between the world update and the world, it does look so much better. I mean, it really, you know, yesterday we were, I was at the cliffs. I'm like, this just doesn't look good. This can't be the world update. You know, I knew right away it should have looked better than that. All right. Are we ready to fly our pink school bus? This is the new airport. So I'm going to take a look around first. You know, it's okay. It's got, some, oh, it's got some kind of neat buildings over there. It's got like two sets. It's got one control tower over there. I think like, or like the new terminal is there. 
All right, let's check everything. Is everything good here? Propeller full. Oh, that's good. Yes, we're ready to fly. So we advance the engines here. To there. Uh, this plane is very easy to take off in because it has very little in terms of uh, runway needs. Very short runways. Just wants to fly. I don't know. It's not. It's not. I don't know. Farnborough. Okay, let's take a look. So we got Farnborough. There's the. There's kind of unique buildings there for the, for the air traffic control, and also these buildings are really interesting looking here. Um, and again, I don't. In this case, I don't know what it looked like before, but it looks great now. So it's like that set of buildings. There's this red control tower there, and like a so like two towers, which is common. And then uh, this cool building. There's the runways, and I think this is effectively the the passenger terminal area. Although it doesn't have jetways. Oh yeah, and you can see that's not fully 3D. So it's interesting. It's a bit of a pastiche, but it looks good. I have no problem. But just flying around in an actual plane as opposed to a helicopter is already just a great vibe. Okay, so we have a few things we want to do here. We're going to adjust the propellers a little bit. They're not running very efficiently. Down to about 87. Fly over that a little bit more. Where is Farnsboro in the city? Like, is there a city? It looks like it's over this direction here. But we're basically in the countryside. Looks like there's an airport here, but then there's kind of like a series of buildings. Hold on one second here. But, and again, the rest of the week is more exploring of the new update. So, for example, we have Gibraltar, we have Cardiff, we have uh, Edinburgh, we have Welling, we have Wembley, we have Newcastle, we have Liverpool, Leeds, Brighton. All of these cities we got to take a check out. we got to check out. But today, this is uh, Far Farnsworth? I don't remember. F Farmingham? I don't remember. Something like that. Oh, it is looking kind of cloudy, and, and uh, I'm not really feeling like we could see things. Helicopters are hard to fly in real life, too, but, but in the plane... Hello, can I bring the nose down here? I'm pushing forward on the stick all the way. You can see that. It does do that. Um, it's very sensitive to trim, and I have some negative, a positive trim there. So that's why you need to have a little negative trim or it's just gonna pop the nose right into the sky. But I, what I'm saying is the weather is not ideal for sightseeing, and we can make it ideal for sightseeing. Simply by adjusting the weather feature to where I like it rather than where it actually is. So instead of live weather, we're going to go with scattered clouds. It gives a much better view of the ground and it still looks realistic in that there's ground. You know, there is clouds. It's not just perfectly clear sky. Helicopters are hard to fly. They're not stable, but they're, it's, it's worse than that. It's like, it has to do with the control scheme. Like, Unlike a plane where you kind of have a joystick control scheme, so I'm controlling the yoke back and forward, just in my left thumb. Um, in a helicopter, you have a very different kind of way of controlling the helicopter. In a helicopter, your right hand is controlling the, the, the joystick. Your left hand, because you're sitting on the right side, your left hand is controlling the, the or that, which is called the cyclic. Your left hand is controlling the collective, which is, which is the throttle, which has, has two pieces to it. The throttle, which you twist, and the collective, which moves up and down, the collective, which controls the overall pitch of the of the blades. Now, I understand all this stuff theoretically, so I perfect I do understand what's going on when you're trying to fly a helicopter. But, uh, but the control scheme of a of a of, of a um, joystick like this is perfectly good for controlling an airplane, like because I have I have the rudders with my fingers, and then I have basically control this here with this. Oops, it's too fast.
but it's a much more difficult um, compromise to do the same thing with a helicopter, again, because the control is completely different. So I'm trying to figure out, the other thing is again, as I, as I mentioned, I fly this plane all the time because it's, it's one of my new favorites. Um, they did come out with an update today for the shorts, for, the, for this particular plane. What the update entails, I have no idea. And it, again, there's no release notes that I could find. Well, th they didn't include release notes. I think there are release notes online. Yeah, there's a big, there was a huge update. I'm flying around, uh, well, this is Blackbush. I'm flying around the new update areas, so I'm trying to take in the, um, you know, I wrote down, I jotted down which of the, are the new five airports. This one looks like it's not quite as nice. It's still pretty nice. But you can see there's just a lot of satellite map terrain there. But at least they have the control tower. It's a tiny airport. Uh, and I and I had the helicopter, and, and then there was update to the short sky van, which is what I'm flying, and I'm trying to see if I can tell what's different. Um, I mean, it looks it looks exactly the same inside. Usually, there's just some bugs, um, like real weird little minor bugs, like windows not opening or something like that. Uh, but I haven't figured that out. Engine bleed's not important in this game. Yeah, okay, we started at Farnborough today. Uh, but yeah, there's gonna be, I'm not gonna be able to go long today, so, um, because it's Thursday and I gotta get back to work. And I still wanna play some music on my piano. But the terrain looks great. Every, every, all these little houses and buildings are all 3D models. And, um, I saw some other people exploring the new things on YouTube and, uh, like um, Gibraltar looks great. And most of these cities that they have, have mentioned look really, really good. So we're going to be exploring the next, the, um, uh, for, like a, for like a month. Well, like a week or two. But I kind of wanted to just try all of the, uh, the airports and the cities that are listed. Again, I tried to, I was like, let's do, the, I was trying, wanted to do this yesterday and I didn't even install the update. And it's a big update. It's a 10 gig update for the world update. But yeah, then there's another big update for the program. Then I had to update a bunch of planes. So occasionally, and usually it's on Tuesdays, which is one of the reasons I don't stream on Tuesdays. But I do play Flight Simulator because if there's major updates to do, I want to load them on Tuesdays. So I don't have to do that on Wednesday or, or Thursday. They being the Thursday. All right, I'm going to land. It is pretty much time for me at this point to switch over to music already. Sorry about that. But tomorrow shall be more flying. And the day after and the day after. And I'll, I'll, I should have at least an hour of actual flight sim content. But again, flying the Short Brothers is just a joy. I mean, flying any plane after flying a helicopter is just a joy somehow. So we took off from Farnborough. I'm going to land there. Again, I, again, this is one of the five airports that they mentioned in the update has been updated. I don't know. No, we haven't done the Isle of Man yet. Isle of Man is one of the updated places, and I am dying. In fact, that should be tomorrow we'll do Isle of Man. Because it is updated, and I don't know if I've ever flown over the old Isle of Man. We're going to slip slowing down here. Again, we don't want to land at too much over 70, or we're going to bounce like crazy. But the great thing about this plane is you can reverse the propellers quite quickly on the ground, and it stops on a dime. And the other thing is, thanks to Hobie Gal, I finally found out that if there's four white lights on the on the your pappy lights, or oh, I still like to call the visual light slope indicator, uh, you're too high, and that's the current situation. Okay, there should be at least one red light. Now I see one red and three white. That's better than four white. But I've been doing, I've been going too high this whole time because I was always like, oh, there's two red. I need to go up. Two red is perfect. Okay, so I'm looking at those little lights. Okay, now I got three red. I want to come up a bit, a little more, a little more prop. I got two red. I want to see if I can stay on the glide slope as accurately as I can. Now that I know how it's supposed to work, it makes a lot more sense that you want to have two red and two white, which is what I got right there. You can kind of see right to the left of the of the uh, runway. Now in the real world, there's an ILS electronic ILS system which displays that in right in your glass cockpit. Although I don't know if this plane has a, has a visual ILS indicator. It's, it's pretty common on, on planes to have had it added, meaning you don't have to look at that thing. You can look on, a, on, a, um, on an instrument in your, in your plane and it will tell you. 
it will tell you um, if you're too low or too high. But boy, at the last minute, you know, you, you could start to ignore it. But yeah, we're gonna come down here, land real gently, and then jam on the reversers. Jam on the reversers, reversers, and then brakes, and it basically comes to a stop, boom. Turn off the reversers so that we don't go backwards. Flaps to up, and let's, uh, yeah, the Isle of Man is gonna be a, a doozy. G Gibraltar, Cardiff, we flew over Cardiff recently. So, um, you know, we have some people who live, who are fans who live in the, that area. Or is it Bristol? Anyway, close enough. Um, but yeah, it's updated, so. So, and this airport has been updated and it looks great from the ground. This is a different part of the different section from where we were before. But I love this little very slopey building there. Interesting way of constructing the building. Oh, and these hangars. I wonder if you can go in hangars. Some hangars you can go in. Yeah, you can go in and there's a special, um, there's a special uh, add-on or, or module. I think it'll let us go in here. Um, that will let you close and open these doors. They don't, I, I don't have the special software that would let us go into the hangar and close the door, which, but the fact that you can even go in here is, is I think probably new. You know, they probably just um, added, oh, yeah. hold on, I can fix that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is, look how complicated this, this, um, this little building is with this interior lights. Yeah, I have a feeling before um, yesterday and the, this airport was updated that this would, building would not have been here. It would not have had any a working interior. And again, I believe there's a mod, a mod you can get. Yeah, I fly the sky van a lot. There's a mod you can get where you can close the doors. But I don't know what it is. It's, it's not. It's like something you have to download. I don't install like a uh, community thing. But it is really cool that you can go in here. And I believe that again. That's that's a new thing. Let me take a little picture here. Yeah, I love my sky van. Yeah. While we're at it, though, let's open the doors. Where's my doors? Where's my doors? Um, hold on. Where were the doors? I remember kind of where the doors are. Oh, yeah, up here. Duh. Hold on. Up here. Oh, yeah. Cargo ramp. Uh, those don't do anything. But this will open the cargo ramp and back. And you can see the uh, skydivers, which did fail to jump out. Yeah, the parachute guys are in there. They're always going to be in there. They're never going to jump out. I mean, for, for this livery. They come with this livery, but yeah, they're always there. <laughs> but anyway, let's see if I can take a nice picture of us all in this cool little hangar. And by the way, I want, the other thing is I can back out of the hangar by reversing the propellers, which I'll show you. In fact, let's do that. I'm going to do that. Let me just take a picture, though. I can't get enough screenshots of the flying pink school bus, honestly. But the, yeah, the cool thing is we can sit here. Okay, let's, let's go here. Let's go here. Uh, I can go into reverse. The, 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 the uh, propellers are pushing me backwards. I believe. Oh yeah, but I got it. all right. So I'm going backwards. So we're backing out of the hell of the uh, hangar. So I don't have to turn around in there. Oh, and the, and it's still open, so you can still see the guys are in there. <laughs> I don't know. Some stuff like this just really tickles me. The fact that you can reverse the plane. Oops. And then put the brakes on. Oh, <laughs> don't put them on too suddenly though. That's kind of funny. Um, and again, there's is this Farnborough Airport, and I think there's a there's a couple of hangars you can go in. It looks like that one's closed, and then this one and this one are open. And it looks like that one is. In fact, we can get out of the plane. Just take a quick peek. Yeah, this is just another hangar you can go in. And again, I, there's a way of closing the doors. Um, but it's kind of cool that you can back. This is one of the few planes you can back out of a of a parking spot in. But man, what a paint job! I just, I just love that they have this. Okay, here, another, another screenshot. And then I'm gonna take a few minutes 
I'm gonna bring my piano in now. It's just sitting over there, so it's not far. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and there'll be a piano segment. Yeah, I, I fly the sky band a lot. I already told you that. Okay, stick around for a couple minutes if you wanna watch me play piano for like 35 minutes. And if you don't, I'll see you next time tomorrow. 11.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Just not Tuesdays. Oh, by the way, cheers. Diet Coke. Mmm. Powered by Diet Coke. But not sponsored. Dang it, where's Bella? She should have her stream room set up today. Dang it. Let me just finish setting up my camera here. Like this, I think. Close enough, probably. All right, let's see if I can get ready to play some music. 
Luzika. Anyway, I would do that song all the time, but this is the version. Of, this is my fake book. This is my fake book, pop rock fake book. So I can do songs that I don't necessarily have memorized, but if I can see the chord structure. I'm, it's, it's definitely a drought. There's a drought of my favorite e-girl streamers. Mord hasn't been seen in a week. And Bella hasn't been, hasn't been regularly streaming for months. It's a rough time. But I think it's, you know, 
summer, summer, you know, summer vacation time for everybody, you know. Most people know that as a Honey Drippers remake, but it's not Honey Drippers. Song. Do, 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 do. It's got a bunch of songs um, that I do that are pop songs, but I just do them as instrumentals. I don't know if there's too many I even try to sing in here. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. But I know a lot of these songs are um, somewhere out there from an American tale. It goes like this.
do, 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 do. I always gotta do that song. All right. Where it began, I can't begin to know when, but then I know it's growing strong. Was is the spring? And spring became the summer Who'd have believed you'd come along Hands Touching hands Reaching out Touching me Touching you Oh yeah, because it goes to warm, touch and warm, reaching out. I wrote the song very well. Touching me, touching you. is a wonderful uh, instrumental along the way I like to do it. All right, that's how it starts. Okay, let's start from the beginning.
with strength to try once more. Baby, that's what love is for. Sometimes I see you and I don't know why I'm there. And I'm washed away by emotions I hold. Long ass song. I always feel those holidays. I mean, their pop songs are not that long. This one, every, this one's a good version. Everyone knows the song.
I'm practicing these songs because I don't remember them as well as I, you know, so I, need, so I need the music. Talking about the, um, the White Ship, that's a uh, Moody Blues, isn't it? I believe. Great, so, great tune. And that's and that, very appropriate for the piano, too. I'm like, just not a lot of these songs. You might find a few more likes. And you don't bring me flowers, Neil Diamond. I do 
enjoy the Neil Diamond songs, you know. And this is a Beatles song, believe it or not. instrumental do, 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 do. Ha! 
Whew. That's a hard, by the way, I love how he sings this. Um, it may be quite simple, but now this time, this is not a simple song. But your song, it's kind of a joke. I mean, the lyrics are kind of simple, but the, 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 the music to that is not, uh, is not simple. Great song though, but this is saxophone. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, last song. Okay, now that's a different this is a different song. Beyond the sea. Somewhere. Beyond the sea.
the shore We'll kiss just as before I wish I could play more, but I got time constraints. And that's just the way it is on Thursdays. Tomorrow, Friday afternoon, kind of don't work so much. So I can stretch out, start around noon, go for two hours, two for two hours or so. But today is the content for the day. You know, we flew around. We flew in a couple of different vehicles. We checked some stuff out. I played a bunch of songs. I think tomorrow, very similar, except guitar content, by the way. Not, uh, but be sure to, if you want to make sure you're, you're um, notified, be sure you follow me on Twitch and or subscribe for free on uh, YouTubes. That way you'll find out that I'm going to go live on uh, those devices. But it's very regular. Every day except for Tuesday, roughly 11.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now, today I went, uh, wait a minute, I was new. <laughs> exactly. Oh, same here. But we rarely get unexpected Friday afternoon meetings. It does happen. But I can, I can almost 99% tell you that I have my afternoon free of meetings. It's not like I'm not like w watching my mail and maybe sending a mail or two, you know, but that, that doesn't affect the two hours I, I take out of my day to, uh, uh, to, to, to stream, which I love doing and I'm going to keep doing it. I just enjoy, I really enjoy the heck out of it. Now that I got it set up, it's pretty easy to get started. And I don't know, again, it's just something, I don't know, I'm going to keep doing it. So thank you for coming in. I'm going to raid my close personal friend, Carol Burnett, because none of my actual streamer friends are on. I don't know what's going on. But, you know, close enough to, a, 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 she, oh, yeah, she's about to start a new show here, a new episode. Um, yeah, they, they do. I mean, well, it is what it is, you know what I mean? It's, it's like, it is what it is. But I, 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 uh, I, 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 think, I think they're pretty good. I watch my own streams, like, the next day or later in the day. I'll, I'll watch most of the VOD, and I'll be like, wow, that, that guy's pretty good, you know? <laughs> Wish there were more guys streaming like that because I'd watch him, you know? That's what I think when I watch my screen. So I don't know. But anyway, it's it's a it's a special person. It's not for everybody. Carol Burnett, she's just about to start a new show. She's uh blah blah blah. Oh yeah, I can do my little I got plenty of Diet Coke, so I'm gonna do my final thing here. Oh yeah, this is that season she had super short hair. I'm so glad we had this time together. Just to have a laugh or sing a song. Seems we just get started, and before you know it, comes the time we have to stay so long. And uh, yeah, thanks again. Enjoy it. We'll see you tomorrow. It's going to be more flight sim content, and then we'll play guitar for a while. Probably karaoke, because I didn't do that last time. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to raid her, So, but uh, here's my ending screen.